Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I'm in a different environment right now. Um, I'm actually staying away in Bath for the weekend. It's for my mum's birthday. And I thought, why not do a get ready with me for going out for dinner? Look, it's not going to be anything particularly exciting because I actually don't have very long to get ready. But I thought it might be quite a fun little video to do. So I apologise for the quality of the film, but it's not really a tutorial, it's just more like I said, get ready with me. Um, as always, I'm going to start off with my Hansen Pure Luminous Primer. This is a brand new one I've got. And I'm actually going to go with some of the iconic London um, Illuminator and Shine. I'm just going to pop this on the areas where I like to um, highlight my skin anyway. Just add an, ooh, an extra glow under the foundation. I have to say, one of, Bath is one of my favourite cities. I'd love to, anyway, move here at some point. I was born here, um, and then we moved away when I was four. Um, but it's just a really beautiful city, and I really do love it. Um, and we don't live that far away, like we live, well my parents live half an hour to 40 minutes away and I live probably 50 minutes away now from Bath. Um, so it's not like we've come far away but we just thought it'd be quite nice, we went for a little bit of a shop today. Um, I didn't have a very successful shop I have to say. Bath I just think it's a really beautiful city and highly recommend if you've never been before. And actually we went for lunch and we went to this really lovely... Um, Lebanese restaurant and we, and we just wanted something light for lunch because we were going out we're going out for dinner a second with my grandparents as well um so we went to this really nice Lebanese place that do uh, we have like a meze platter so like hummus falafels um kind of things like that and we also got extra sides of these really lovely like really tasty spicy potato things we got sort of a few extra falafels um my parents got a few like chicken wings and lamb as well because um, the Mersey platter we had was vegetarian because uh, I'm a vegetarian and actually me and mum had a <laughs> vodka lemonade each mine was actually so nice it was a pomegranate and orange blossom vodka lemonade and it tasted amazing mum had an apple ginger and mint one um, and yeah, it tasted so good. I can't remember the place, what it's called off to my head, so I'll leave it on the screen somewhere. But I'd highly, if you're ever in Bath and you like Lebanese food, I mean, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, or a meat eater, there's like stuff for everyone there. So it's a great place. And we've, I, we've been there before as well for dinner, and they do a really nice dinner stuff, but we kind of went for lunch this time. It was so nice. So I'm gonna actually going in with the e.l.f. foundation. I want something not too heavy on the skin tonight and something that's quite luminous um i wouldn't necessarily recommend this for a night out because it is it lasts a great amount of time it does get quite shiny so if you're oily like me you do need to set the t-zone quite well um but it does have spf in so it can flash back but um mum doesn't really like to take pictures so we're not gonna be taking any pictures tonight so it's fine i'll show you quickly hair as well i mean my hair I don't do anything too exciting to it, but I will include it. And also I need to quickly paint my nails because some of them are chipped a little bit. And the nail colour I'm wearing is the Barry M Coconut Infused Nail Paint. But I don't think the shade name's right off, so it's whichever one's the kind of dark grey one is the one I'm wearing. And to set the concealer and my teaser, I'm going with the Freedom Powder in Translucent. Has anyone tried the new Makeup Revolution concealer? Because I'm very tempted to give it a go. I was going to do like a first impressions on it. That was one of the things I wanted to get today, but there wasn't in Because there's two super drugs in Bath I know of, and neither of them stocked it. I'm being told it's meant to be like a dupe for the um, tart shaped hair which 
obviously I've never tried and never will because although I think Tarte is cruelty free I believe it's parent brand or parent company is L'Oreal or if it's not L'Oreal it's definitely one that isn't cruelty free and I thought actually it might be quite good to test out see if it is any good because it's meant to be quite full coverage like the sh uh, Tarte Shake Tape but I always know that's, that's quite pricey that one and um, although the shade range is amazing I can imagine um, in comparison to Makeup Revolution I know as well it tends to be out of stock quite a lot and I don't know how easy it is to get in the UK as well I don't know how accessible Tarte is in the UK um, so I thought it might be quite a nice um, first impressions to do especially for um because although i'd like to go i mean i've put a couple of layers of that foundation on today because i'm going out but usually on a daily basis i like to wear a really light layer or nothing at all so very similar to that no makeup makeup look i did earlier um but when I'm doing a look like that, because I do suffer from spots and stuff, I do like to go in with a relatively high coverage concealer. So that's why I always use um, that's why I use my collection concealer because out of all the concealers I own, it gives the most coverage. And actually, so I thought I wanted to try it out because it, it's cheaper than the collection. One, I'm pretty sure. Um, and if it's good coverage and lasts well, then I thought it'd be perfect. Kind of like no makeup concealer to have um so i was actually gonna get hold of it and try do a double test of it so i was gonna do it where i don't wear any foundation so kind of like a no makeup look see how it looks on the skin see if it really is as full coverage as it's, they say because even if you put so you say it's full coverage then you go and put foundation on which gives some coverage you can't see the true coverage and then i was going to do another test where i do wear some foundation and then put the concealer on top and see how that works throughout the day so I thought it might be quite an interesting video to do. Um, so I'm going to take the 100% Pure Luminous, not Luminous, 100 Pure Cocoa Pigmented Bronzer in, oh what's that, um, Cocoa Jam. So if that is a video you're interested in, me doing the two kind of wear tests, let me know. I know it's not Green Beauty, um, there is a video coming up this week I'm pretty sure it's this week where I did test out a green beauty concealer which I actually really like but it's not as full coverage it doesn't have as much coverage as this one so it's nice when I am wearing foundation and it did wear really lovely throughout the day I'm gonna give you a sneak peek um, for my no makeup days I want that a little bit extra coverage especially like where I just want to add like quite a bit of coverage to the spot areas I thought it might be quite a nice concealer to try out. I'm going to go with my Lily Lolo Illuminator in Rose as always. Pick it up on my ruby brush and I'm just going to pop it on my highest points. So I know we've already got that glow underneath the foundation but this just adds a little bit extra which I think can be quite nice for a night out. It's still not I don't think in your face and because it hasn't got that shimmer or glitter it kind of looks much nicer on the skin I think. I'm going to go back in with my brushes for bronzer and just no additional product, whatever's left on there, and just blend the two together. So that's the face portion done. I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to take the B Longwear Bat Brow Cream. Take a little bit of clear brow gel. So for eyes, I'm going to take the Nip and Fab palette. I'm just going to take a few of the shades and kind of create a typical brown smoky eye because it is just, when I haven't got much time to get ready, it is just kind of the easiest I like to go for so like I said it's not gonna be anything revolutionary this eye look or this makeup look in general but it's kind of my go-to look when I'm in a rush but I need to get ready for like a dinner or like an evening event or something 
if you've ever been to Bath, let me know your favourite um, thing to do in Bath, your favourite place to eat or whatever. I do, I just love Bath so much. And like we come to the theatre quite a lot here because we like going to plays and things like that. And Actually one of my favourite plays that I've seen in Bath twice now is The Woman in Black. I just, I, I quite like scary movies and stuff like that. The first time I saw it I was... Mm, 14, 15, I'm trying to think. Maybe younger actually, maybe 13. Because our English teacher, she loved it and she made us watch the old, old, like the original film of it. And it used to terrify us. And we went to see it, I took two friends with me. We barely, I barely watched any of it to be honest that first time because I was terrified. And then. Kind of since then I've watched obviously the old movie again, I've actually got the old movie and now watching it is so dated that it's not that scary. Obviously I've watched the Daniel Radcliffe ones which I don't think are too bad. I know it's probably a lot of people have different opinions about Daniel Radcliffe and his acting but I didn't think the movie was that bad. I've seen the second version that's kind of, it's okay, it's kind of lost the idea about it I think but the first one wasn't too bad and I really wanted to see it because also the pl woman who plays the woman in black in that film I've watched her in several TV programs I really like her as an actress and my favourite thing that she starred in is Life on Mars um, so funny and some of I mean some of the stuff like they could not do that now policing and even like some of the sexist remarks they could not say now set in the 70s I think is it 70s? yeah I think it's the 70s and it is just one of my favourite TV series. I can rewatch it and it just, I don't know, I love it. So yeah, so I really, that's one of the reasons I wanted to watch the film, the Diane Radcliffe film, because I knew she was in it. Um, her name's Liz White, just in case you're interested. Um, one of my favourite plays, that actually the most recent one we saw, which I absolutely loved, it was back in October, was How the Other Half Lives. Um, I didn't know much about it when I went in to go and see it. So yeah, I'm don't, sorry, I'm going to take the Lily Lolo um, Manila eyeshadow in bronze sparkle. Pop this all over the lid. Um, yeah, I didn't know much about it. But the reason we went again is kind of sometimes the plays, if I don't know what about, if it depends on the cast. So again, another TV program I used to absolutely love as a child. And even actually, only not that long ago, finished my TV show called The Royal, um, which is a hospital show set in oh i can't i don't know it was kind of like you know um it was like the royal and the heartbeat as well at the same time was on so i absolutely love the royal and like my favorite characters that were jill and gordon the actor who plays gordon in it was starring in this play i was like oh i really want to go see it. and it also has charlie books who plays janine in eastenders not i don't actually watch eastenders but i knew her as well and also i forgot she did she win i'm a celebrity I think she did when I'm a celebrity, didn't she? And I quite like her just in general. Um, so I went to see it and I really, really enjoyed it. It was so, such a funny play. And if you ever get to see it, I would highly recommend it. Because not just is it a funny play, and the actors are amazing. Um, just the setup of the stage, because it's kind of, it's based around two families from different backgrounds. So they have it sort of set up that both of the houses are on stage. Two of the couples invited the third couple to a dinner party and they had it so it was kind of spread out on one long dinner table and the couple that was being invited kind of switched between the two um, dinner parties and it was just so well done. I'm explaining it so badly. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and actually I love going to see things as well I don't know much about because I love discovering new actors and actresses I really love to watch. Um, and in it there was an actress called Sarah Crow who I just, like, she was possibly the my favourite character in the play, by far. And, uh, yeah, since then I've been, like, trying to find out what else she's been in and stuff like this. And I discovered a comedy show that she was in. Uh, I can't get hold of it. I can only find bits of it on YouTube. And it's called Sometime Never. And I just find that so, I just really love that and I find it. funny as well and 
I quite, that's why I quite like going to see, I kind of do that thing, if I find, see an actor in something that I really enjoy, I'll then go ahead and I'll go and like research everything else they've been in, just so I see what they're like in other things as well. I know she's written a few books, which I might um, go ahead and pick up. Yeah, and I love to go see musicals and things like that. My favourite musical by far. And I think it's because my mum had it on videotape. I've now got videotape. I've now got it on DVD and it's kind of a musical I've seen that I was watching and constantly watched right from a very young age. Um, I think because I did do a little bit, bit of ballet, so I couldn't sing, didn't really know about acting. Um, but I love to dance, so it kind of that was why the musical really appealed to me as well. And it's um, Cats, it's one of my favourite musicals. I've seen it probably about five times on the West End. And I was tempted one Halloween to do a whole series of me recreating each of the cats' looks, but it has actually already been done. So I was kind of a bit gutted about that. I just love seeing musicals in general. I think some of my favourite musicals. I'm going to take the PHP. Scar. One of them was one we went to see for my 21st, and that was um, Phantom of the Opera. That was amazing. And so it's kind of one of those ones. As soon as the music starts, you kind of it sends like shivers down your spine. I love Les Mis as well. Wick is another amazing one. Now oh, what else? Gypsy. I love Gypsy. I saw Gypsy when it was um, Amelda Stoughton in it, and she, she's quite a small lady, but her lungs are just incredible, literally the power of her voice. Actually, um, we saw Dream Girls as well with Amber Riley, and holy cow, that was incredible. Am I gonna leave the lower lash line? I'm just gonna put a bit of mascara actually on the lower lash line, but I think, where do I put the mascara? Okay, so all that leaves is lips, and I've actually forgotten the lipstick I was going to wear, which is upsetting. I've got a lip liner, so I'm just going to have to probably just use that. For... Yes, yeah, so I'm just taking the Lily Lolo um, lip pencil in soft nude. So that's the makeup portion done. I know it's nothing particularly exciting, but it's kind of my go-to when I'm in a rush, but I need to kind of make an effort because I'm going out sort of thing. So I'm gonna quickly do my hair while I've got time. Now again, my go-to hair isn't anything exciting. I think I've done this several times on my channel. So I'm just using my straighteners like I always do. I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair. I just find straight is so much easier and faster to use. And actually my mum borrowed these the other day and um, she said how much she loved the way they kind of curled her hair. Because these aren't actually, these are just straighteners but I just because they've got kind of a rounded edge they work so well for curling and it's just easier and faster I find. Um, and she really liked them, so she was like, oh, can you get me some? So for her birthday, that's the present I got her. So it's actually her birthday tomorrow. I, I was like, do you want your, she knew what I was getting her, because she kind of, she kind of asked me for it. Um, and I was like, you don't want it tonight, so you can do your hair for tonight? She goes, no, no, I'll just borrow yours if I need to. I like, she likes to open presents on her birthday. She doesn't like anything being, doesn't like opening things early. She likes to open things on her birthday, so I was like, okay. So that's all the hair curls. So I'm just going to quickly rough up my hair because my parents have just come to the room and I'm not ready so I need to quickly rough up my hair and then go down to the bar. Yeah so I just like to use my hands for this just so it kind of loosens some of the curls and just gives a bit more volume to the hair as well. Actually I should have bought, I only washed it the other day but for some reason it's not looking great so I'm just going to put if you don't have any dry shampoo, just put a bit of bronze in your hair. Well, if you're brunette, put some bronze in your hair. If you're not, I wouldn't recommend it, but. Or you could put like, just normal face powder. If, that's if you don't have dry shampoo on you. I don't at the moment. 
Okay, so I think I'm actually going to stick it with middle parting for now. I kind of need to hurry up. So that's the makeup look complete. Like I said, nothing exciting. Just something that's a bit more... Something I've put a bit of effort into, but in a quick amount of time because I didn't have much time. I have to say, without... This lip liner looks really beautiful by itself, so... Don't necessarily need a lip liner. A lipstick with this Ooh, lip liner. It works quite perfectly well so yeah this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching i'm sorry it wasn't it's kind of usual setup but i thought it might be quite interesting to see how i actually get ready for dinner in a short amount of time so sorry for the little ramble in the middle section but i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video